Hi, welcome to Cooking with Kara. Today we're gonna make some hard candy, like suckers, or today we're just gonna actually make disc. I didn't do sucker sticks because you at home may not have sucker sticks, and the whole point of this is just to teach you how to make candy. So what you're gonna need is two cups of sugar, which I didn't go to the grocery store, so I don't have exactly two cups, so I'm gonna use a little less corn syrup also. Um, two thirds cup of corn syrup, uh, you need two teaspoons of any kind of flavoring. I actually bought pineapple flavoring, but you can use, if you don't have any kind of flavoring, you can just make it regular and just have regular sugar candy. Then we, you need, um, I bought some sprinkles. I saw online um, someone put sprinkles on theirs because it was clear, so I thought that was kind of cool. So I bought sprinkles. So if you had a birthday party or whatever, and you have some sprinkles left, use your sprinkles for your for your candy. But you also need a candy thermometer. A lot of you guys may not have a candy thermometer, so um, it is very important that you do have one so that um, you can cook your, your uh, mixture long enough so that it is rock hard um, when you get, when it's ready. But if you don't, um, we'll kind of time it and just kind of guesstimate how long you you boil it, um, so I don't know how that's gonna work, but it is recommended that you do have a candy thermometer. So, they're kinda cheap at um, Hobby Lobby. I think this one was $5, but I think you can get them at the Dollar Tree also for a dollar. So, um, you may wanna invest in one of these, especially if this is something that you decide to do quite a bit. Um, so, let's get started. Another thing before we get started that I forgot to mention that we um, need to get some parchment paper. I don't know if you guys know what parchment paper is, but uh, parchment paper, like this right here, and you just line your cookie sheets or you can even put it on your cabinet. I would suggest putting it on your cabinet just because it's really going to be, it's going to be really hot when you pour it out. And if you're cabinet doesn't withstand a lot of heat um, it may burn it so I would suggest putting it on a cookie sheet all right so we are now going to get started with our two cups of sugar our two cups of sugar and our two-thirds cup of light corn syrup I don't have all my tools right here in front of me. Okay, we're going to cook this at a medium high heat. And on fourth of a cup of water. We're going to stir this together. And then we're gonna attach the candy thermometer to the side, but I'm gonna get all this off the side first. Uh -huh. We're gonna attach the candy thermometer where you can actually see the numbers. It has a little clip. For some reason, I can't get my, there it goes. Get the thermometer down in there. And we are gonna let this heat up. I don't know if you can actually see. See the, see the thermometer. And I'll show you again once it starts boiling and we get this, we get this going.
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pour small little So here's my end result. We have um, little uh, like jawbreakers, and then we have just little flat pieces with our pretty candy in it. These right here, if you had sucker sticks, you could have stuck a sucker stick on there and made them made them a sucker. What I did with these is just before it got um, cool enough. I took it and rolled it in a ball, and um, there you go. Pretty tasty. I have a piece in my mouth right now, and tastes pretty good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you try this at home. You can buy candy molds. Um, you can buy candy sticks. Um, whatever you want to do, or you can do what I did and just let it turn out to be a blob, but it's a pretty good blob. It definitely um, satisfies a sweet tooth. Thank you for cooking with Kara, and I will see you again next week.